Hi, I'm Kieran Michael. I'm 21 and I'm graduating from Manchester School of Theatre this year. I've lived in Newcastle my whole life and I was born there. And my interests are musical theatre and singing in pubs and stand-up comedy and improvisation. And this is my duologue. Penny for them. Really? Is that the best you've got? Well, I didn't want to jump straight in with the killer lines. You know, you've got to build your way up. Sensible. See how the lines are landing and then bring out the big guns? Well, I didn't think you were impressed by stuff like that, but, uh, whatever floats your boat, you know, bang. <laughs> what big? Ouch. We're not doing this again. Then what? You know, we could be stuck in here for hours and you're not even going to talk to us. We can talk. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean no, to say that. We can talk about Ethan if you like. What do you want to know? Do you want the details of how we chatted each other up when I was single before I'd even met you? I'm sorry. You know, it might come to a surprise to you, but I didn't used to be this much of an idiot. It's true. Until I met this girl. I mean, woman. <laughs> and she blew my mind. She was like nobody I'd ever met before. And I don't usually gang back for seconds, but she was the exception. Wow, I've never felt more flattered. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Not really. I was seeing this guy once while my granddad was dying, and he came to the funeral with me. And while I was crying in the eulogy, he whispered to me, you look really hot. But I actually think you might have outdone him. Seriously? You actually said that at a funeral? Really? Yeah. And every time we slept together after that, I kept thinking he was going to ask me to cry for him. You slept with him? I was young. And now you're, what, more discerning? <laughs> yes, now I'm more discerning. Right. I won't bother you anymore.